what the factors can contribute to wealth. <clears throat> and the mission of the United Region is pretty well covered that. And, but, well, the mission is to reduce the human ecological footprint uh, until it can matches the bio capacity of the Earth, and in which case we could get to be called sustainable. But that'll be a long time. It would, by the time we get the population levels uh, suitable and the uh, activity level to get the footprint down, that'll probably be 70 years if we started today. But uh, as uh, 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 Elizabeth Satura said, Gaia is one tough bitch because she's taken a lot of abuse so far and we might get a little more resilience. <clears throat> now how large is one of these regions? Well, they're as small as practical to have a regional government large enough to administer the functional needs of bureaucracy within the, the Blue Planet government's uh, system. <clears throat> in, envisioned regions would vary in size, Ecological bioregions sometimes will form uh, borders with other small, uh, that would be the same as other small countries before the paradigm change. Regions are small enough to have the advantage of localization to give individuals a strong feeling they can be an important part of government. Um, and that's very important. Uh, the human nature is involved here because there may be, most regions may have a need for population reduction. and. Uh, it has to get down to the personal level. But this is this is my responsibility. So small is good in this way. If you talk about one person in the whole globe or the whole of Canada or the United States, it's just the smallest drop in the bucket. So how does a new money system work? And uh, well, we've gone over Ryan Eslick's definition of it. <clears throat> so each region of the world and will measure its the wealth factors within its borders. Now here are a few examples. The, the region's ability to harvest energy flow. Uh, I call it flow energy. I was told by a PhD in, in physics that uh, renewable energy is really an oxymoron because you can't do that. So I call it flow energy, which is, that's what it means. Uh, regions open spaces of untouched nature, but biodiversity, bu bushes, wetlands, where uh, nature can renew without our interference a region's capability to manufacture goods, a region's capability to manufacture food, to produce food, and a level of happiness of the people within the region. So all of these things, including happiness and how, how, how well the corporations are doing, are part of the wealth factor. And these things are measured, fed back into the, uh, into the regional, uh, United Regions uh, system, and, and feedback will occur to change the system. Now, in this, in this world, 50 years after Paradigm Junction, both global, and, or global wealth and regional wealth are always expressed as wealth per capita. And because this is to get it because of the psychological value, to bring it down to the human level as its wealth per capita, my population choices, if I have to choose to more have three or four, four, three or four or more kids, my neighbors are affected by that. It affects their wealth. It affects their well-being. It affects my whole community. But it is within a community of a region, and it's small enough to give you a feeling of I'm an important part of that. And what about individuals' income? Everyone can get a basic fixed income from their regional government. Governments acquire revenue from various sources, such as holding shares in, in profitable multi-regional corporations and land leases. The highest paid member uh, can receive no more than 10%. These are just guidelines, 10% uh, of the basic fixed income. Uh, regions could do the, all of these things different, but these are just guidelines that I penned uh, to get a starting point. <clears throat> now, how would a corporations function within this system? Um, well, we have to change some of the rules, uh, other than just money. The regional government has a full st stewardship over the land and the commons within its borders. but the idea of land ownership for individuals or corporations has to go by the wayside. It was a new idea uh, brought over to North America by the white man that the Indians didn't understand for a long time and they were right, it doesn't really work very well. Um, but uh, the regional governments can lease land to mining companies if they choose to or for farmers or 
anyhow, the land would, very little would happen at the, at the working le worker level. And regional governments are, are, oh yes, and regional governments are the main shareholders of all multi-regional companies. Um, instead of individuals, the rich people holding this corporation, the shares of Monsanto, say, or any of the other big companies, regional governments are the shareholders. And, uh, and any profits they get for those would be distributed to the people of the region. Um, and farmers and merchants and local enterprises operate just about like they did, did today. So there'd be very little change in local, uh, local laws and uh, regional laws and that sort of thing. So basic changes are happening at the higher level and the money system. So uh, I call it uh, blue planet governments for a small blue planet floating somewhere in space. Thank you.